All right, more exploring of these spells and spell paths in Test Realm. I'm just going to say it. There's no such thing as too much healing for life, so I'm actually going to go with the bottom path. Oh, yes, indeed. But this is the new one. Oh, yes, indeed. Now, they said they weren't going to change the location of this gold key boss, which would be Aphrodite. And the item card from my gear has already been changed to reflect this new writing on the spell. As far as I can tell, it does the exact same thing it did before. However, once you get to tier two, it does damage. And then an aura on yourself for four rounds of 20% incoming healing. Sounds pretty good with that. That new goat monk unlock yeah mm -hmm. who would say no tell me who and of course a secret charge is a school pip necessary spell yes we want to test out the bottom because the regular one does damage and then it gives an absorb for these spellaments, you can farm them from Lambent Fire in Avalon. So that's pretty good. That's pretty nice. I like the trade-off with it. I just know these are 85% accuracy. Thanks, lore spells. But anyhow, yeah, it's nice. It has less damage, but gives you the absorb. Whereas this one is a lot more damage, but only has the aura of incoming. Let's go play with this. Let's boost this up. Look at that, 605 damage. Oof, with Colossal. Now it's 880. Uh, yes, please. We're gonna try that out with the Goat Monk, which is also gonna be boosted. Maybe that's a bad idea. I'm probably gonna kill him. Ooh, I wonder what the aura looks like. Okay, so we have a total of eight. It doesn't look like it's gonna be enough because you need four pips and then one life pip. So let's just wait. All right, I think it might be enough. So first off, I'm going to hit, get that incoming healing aura. Come on, you beautiful thing, you. I love it. Man, that unicorn just came out of nowhere. Haha, <laughs> damage you. Look at it, it even like shoots little hearts at it. I love, oh dear, I love it. Alrighty. Well, um. I think I'm gonna hit this one with a plain old goat monk, but uh, you can boost up that heal, I bet. Yes, you can. Hopefully you don't super crazy Mondo kill. Mm-hmm. Oof, thank goodness. All righty. 1578 over five rounds. Whoa, it was 600, but I got 1578. Choo, 368 per round. Aw, you and your measly 159 damage. Boosh. 368, five rounds. Finish you off, stinker. Oh yeah, toast. Very nice, very, very nice. So for Pixie, the top is just heal, heal, heal for everybody. And then the bottom is heal and then heal over time for everybody. I mean, I guess if you want it like all at once, that's fine, but that is way more. And of course you can boost this up with an enchant spell. This might even have any, however. No, she doesn't have any in her repertoire, but you can. Not item cards, mind you, just the regular learn cards. Those are the only ones that you can boost with the enchants. Yes. Yep, Rat Spin still has just one path. Luminous Weaver still has the same two paths as before. Goat Monk now has a top path, which is just damage. I, I mean, it really doesn't go up that much. So yeah, I'm definitely glad to use the bottom one. Nobody glows though. And Sacred Charge, brand new learnable spell through spellaments instead of just hoping to get it dropped from a boss. Now you hope the boss will drop the spellament so you can learn it. But at least it's a more easily accessible boss. That's one reason why I never farmed for this. My life could definitely go over to Lambent and totally just, yes, let's go, let's go. As soon as this goes live, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Send her over there, 
try and get some of these spellaments. Try and get a lot of these spellaments, in fact. You only need 35 to unlock it, and the standard one at damage and then the absorb is pretty nice. Very, very nice. Thanks so much for checking out a look on these spells in Test Realm, and we will see you in the next one. Bye!